Welcome to Alexander Heating and Air Changing of a Evaporator Coil. We started up in the attic with this two and a half ton evaporator coil that we uh, had to remove and replace due to a leak. Uh, you'll see here the technician cutting the lines and pipes to the evaporator coil before he removes it from the cabinet. Alright, now he's just cutting into the vapor line. Prior to this, we had already recovered all the refrigerant and uh, located it down. So here's the new coil. We had pulled the old coil out, sitting it aside. Um, and notice here we're putting the new coil back in. The new coils uh, are all aluminum piping, which helps reduce the acid eating away at the joints and causing leaks. Here the new coil is in place. We're cutting into the vapor line to release the nitrogen that was in the system. This was a dry replacement for an old R22 system. So the nitrogen is being released and uh, now we're going to fit back the liquid and vapor lines to the associated fittings, uh, making the proper adjustments to the pipe and correct fittings. We'll braze those in. We won't show the brazing because the torch is too bright. And finally here the vapor line has already been brazed in and we're just going to adjust the liquid line up to the fitting before brazing that in. Now once it's all brazed in we'll charge it full of nitrogen for pressure test. Run it at about 150-200 pounds of pressure. Make sure there's no leaks. We'll release the nitrogen and put a vacuum on the system down to 500 microns. Again, checking for leaks. Let that sit for 30 minutes or so. Make sure the pressure does not increase in the system. And then once it's checked, we will refill it and recharge it with R22 refrigerant. Thank you for watching.